Jurassic Jr. back again with more of the uncle who works for Nintendo. Last time, something happened to us, and someone ended up making a theory that supposedly we got eaten or assimilated by his uncle, by Dave's uncle, and supposedly some sort of computer program, and I found that interesting. And now the sound's working, so that's, that's awesome. The sound's working now. More pants crapping. It's great. It's great. So we're going to try to get the second ending. And we're going to go for the third, fourth, and I think true ending. Somebody told me it was really good, so I'm going to try to get it. All right, okay. Um, think about this, Uncle. Began with Mew. Uh -huh. Didn't believe in him at first when Dave came to school. We read that part again already. One hit KO. No one else got a single hit. Here we go. In a few days, everyone had quit playing Pokemon at recess. The alert had faded. Okay, I managed to get it. Oh, okay. You agreed. Alright, fine. Um, let's go to the bathroom. Shower. Showers pristinely clean, clean, clean. A linen closet. It's a linen closet filled with large, fluffy towels and washcloths. You were not sure why you looked in here. Are you finished? Yes. A toilet. You don't have to go right now. Are you done here? Yes. Go back. Back to the den. The clock chime. Okay, we gotta <clears throat> try to get that other ending. Talk to Dave. Watch Dave play. Go to the bathroom. Go to the kitchen. Games. An hour passes. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Um, she's gone. Okay, we need a... Thought he worked for Nintendo. He does, says Dave, frowning, but not looking away from the TV screen. He's really important there. Does Nintendo have a lot of business there? Why else would my uncle be coming? Dave says, <clears throat> as if you've asked the dumbest question in the world. Well, it's cool. I'll finally get to meet him. Yeah, I agree, Dave. I think you'll like him. What sort of work does your uncle do? Dave pauses the game and turns towards you, visibly agitated. How should I know? I don't work for them. Right now, he is not quite yelling, but you think if you keep pressing the subject, he might. I'm not sure I believe you about your uncle. Dave takes a moment to respond as if he is not quite sure he heard you correctly. What? I don't believe your uncle works for Nintendo. You think you've finally done it. Dave stands up, fist clenched at his sides, mouth twisted horribly as he shrugs to say something. You watch as he takes a step toward you. You clench your teeth and wait. Dave darts forward and pushes you back onto the hardwood floor, cracking your skull against the carpet. You take the initiative and throw a punch before I can do it again. Ah, uh, what, what do I want to do? Uh, do I want to punch him? Yes, let's do it. You shove yourself off the floor and you send your fist into Dave's stomach. For a moment, you're shocked at what you've done as he stands. They're gasping in his pajamas, but then suddenly bad expression. I hate you. You hear something, you think you hear something, someone shouting, and then you fall in flat on the floor. For a moment, you didn't think you can get up. Your whole body feels heavy. Did he hit you? I hate you, Dave says Dave. Leave me alone. You finally manage to sit up as he turns back to his game. Do you take a moment to collect yourself? Oh, somebody. Oh, somebody Facebook me. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Call your mom, yes. Call mom. Yeah, you want his phone number. She picks up at the three rings. Man. I want to go home. Something in your voice seems to give her a pause. Okay, she says after a moment, I'll call the sister, the sitter, and tell her to come pick you up. It'll probably be a noise. Is that okay? Can you make her get here faster? That's not going to happen, honey. She says, just sit right there. Thank you. 
course she says with the hint of side, I'll call her now, okay? She'll be there in an hour. Be safe. She hangs up. China then packs her things. Dave doesn't even look away from the TV as he come in. Announce that you are leaving. What? Dave stands up, not, not even bothering to pause the game. No, you can't leave. It's almost time. I'm not having fun. But you will, I promise. There's so much stuff I had planned for tonight. I was going to let you play the, le the next Zelda game. The one that's not even out yet. Before you can say anything, anything, he's already running upstairs. Dave continually runs up and down the stairs, bringing you games and consoles while you pack up your things. Every time you present something, do you ignore him or brush it off with an uncaring shrug? Please, Dave says. Just stay. Stay the night, please. <laughs> no, you say. And with your night bag slung over one shoulder, you march to the front door and exit into the night. As you walk to the sitter's car, you see your little sister in the back seat, still in her pajamas. The sitter, a high school girl who lives down the street from you, looks incredibly unhappy to be here. But you think you'll be able to handle her. As you climb into the car, you cast one last look over your shoulder back to the house. Davy's standing in the doorway, totally, t totally still, not screaming, not crying, not doing much of anything. The car begins to pull away from the house as much as you see the parents feel it. Wave. Without an analogy, Dave's parents lay their hands on his shoulders. They turn back into the house, the door closes, and just as everything slides out of view. When you turn around the seat, look at them. You can't even see the house lights. Dave doesn't show up at school on Monday, or Tuesday, or Wednesday. On Thursday, you ask your teacher, Miss, Mr. Scott, where Dave is. He blinks out at you confusedly. Oh, he says eventually. Dave, well, I'm surprised he didn't tell you about this, but he and his family moved away. The house is empty when you ride your bike by that afternoon. It somehow seems even larger without anything or anyone in it. A for sale sign stands in the yard out front. Go home. You never see Dave again, and eventually, as the years pass, you forgot about him entirely. End. The uncle who works for Nintendo. I think that's ending, too. Oh, no, I got ending three. Okay. Let's uh, restart at seven in the den. One quick question. Was your friend father drinking? I'm not sure what I saw. Frame pictures on the walls. You walk around the perimeter. How much time? Seven minutes. All right, I'm going to see if I can get another ending real quick. Walk around the perimeter of the den, inspect the pictures idly. Most of them are family portraits from years past. Dave cradled. Lovingly between his mother and father, or any one of the three on their own. Happy, tidy family. Hold up, here we go. You didn't find any, not one. Whoa. Here are of Dave and his parents. Don't know why that makes you feel uneasy. Maybe that person who commented is right. He's in a program, which is pretty sketch. Time passes. Okay, uh, talk to Dave. Watch Dave play, go to the bathroom, go to the kitchen. Think about Dave's uncle. I began, well, we already did that part. Managed to get it. Oh, okay. I agreed. Set by reflections. Clock chimes. I need to figure out what to do here because I don't want to get the, that ending again. Watch Dave play. People always make mistakes. Fig okay, did you figure it out? Asked Dave once the man in the game has apparently stood up and left the conversation. Figure what out? Dave laughs. I guess not. He says before he leaves. Quite some time. Okay, we already did this. It's a popcorn. Okay. Should we pause it around midnight? Okay, mom. Okay, right, she's gone. Ask about uncle's visit. So let's jump conversation sounds to about Dave's uncle. Oh, I already freaking damn it. He agreed out of your reflections. I don't want his grandfather, to, his uncle, sorry. Hmm. Talk to Dave. School. Hour passes. Damn it. It begins raining outside. I can totally hear the rain. That's awesome. I love it.
bowl of popcorn. Butter, delicious. Damn it. It's 10. Oh my god, I got two hours to get the ending. Games. An hour pass. Oh boy. Ask about uncle's visit. You know what, real quick, I want to get that under ending. So we'll just... Well, that abruptly ended one more here. Sure, I'll play. For quite a while, you have heartedly wandered around the map in GoldenEye while Dave repeatedly headshots you. Yeah. <laughs> GoldenEye is awesome. Is your uncle? Oh, damn. Being scarce for a bit. Where is there to go? Run to the bathroom. Oh my god. That noise, man. It's creepy. We run down the hall to the bathroom with the door behind me, or at least this could have been the bathroom. The walls are bare and white. And there's no simple toilet, but there are some odd features, white boxes that could stand in the shower. Stand in the shower. You sip in a plain white box that is about the size of the door is so front of so. After that you don't hear anything except bad expression. Child. The rain, no, not just the rain, but that voice in the back of your head, like, I'm coming for you, child. Like something you can't even begin to describe. Though you lock the door behind you, you hear it open easily. Something walks in. Hold your breath. You're not sure how you know something is out there because you don't exactly know, child. Hear it moving, but you know it's there. Hear it moving, but you know it's there, and you know it stopped. Poor, poor child, right outside the hiding spot. It opens the door, even though you immediately realize it doesn't have any hands. Oh, child. I'm so, oh, so hungry, child. You cannot run, child. Hello, child. No more worries, child. Hello, child. Struggle cease. Swing cease. I'm fine, sweet child. We will play forever. Oh, my God, what sound is so much creepier. What ending was that? Oh, I got the second ending. Yes. We'll definitely go for the other two. The other... The other two. Yeah, the other last two. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, subscribe to join the DR. Become drastic today. Hope you guys enjoyed. As I said before, leave a comment with feedback. Let me know if there's anything I could fix up. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.